Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Nudie. Today we're going through something a lot of people have asked me about and something I think is probably the biggest difference maker at becoming good at Guild Wars 2 or any MMORPG in fact. Keybinds and settings. A huge struggle I had early on when starting at Guild Wars 2 is that I was very very slow and stubborn when it came to changing my keybinds. Because I was somewhat comfortable with the majority of the default keybinds and settings it hindered me and I never thought changing them would be that big of a difference maker. Many many years down the track I can strongly guarantee you that this is far from the truth. Not taking keybinds into account, settings alone can give you such a big advantage over other players who aren't familiar with them. So today I'm going to go through all my keybinds and settings that I run today in hopes that you can all improve your game and be a goat like me of course. So let's start with settings first because this is going to explain a lot of my keybinds as well so I think it's best to get this out of the way. Alright boys and girls so I'm only going to be going through the settings that I think are important so let's get started into that right away. So, first of all, uh, we're going to go through the ground targeting. So, by default, you will be set to normal. I prefer fast with range indicator. Now, let me show you the difference with these. With the normal targeting, when you press a targeted skill, for example, uh, you know, I'll use infiltrators. Actually, no, I'll use cluster bomb. So, you press it once, you let go, and then you have to press it again to cast it. And then, for example, with Cluster Bomb, if you want to explode it, you have to press it another time. So that's like three times pressing the same key. Uh, whereas with Fast with Range Indicator, you only have to let go of the key. So as soon I'm holding down my two key right now, as soon as I let it go, it casts. So you might think, oh, it's just one click. It doesn't make that big of a difference. Believe me, it does. I used to be a strong advocate of the normal ground casting or ground targeting, but you know, as soon as I swapped over, I never looked back. And, you know, some people even run instant cast because it's, you know, it's all about time. It's all about speed. So that, that timing can make a huge difference. Although it's very little, it can make a big impact. Um, maybe I'm just, maybe it's too soon for me to go there, but I don't know. I really, I think fast with range indicator is like the perfect, the perfect balance between the two and it works good for me. Yeah, make sure you're running that, you know, it's, it's gonna, especially with things like shadow step, the stun break is going to come instant. You don't have to double click things. That's that's the biggest part. You don't have to put effort into clicking stuff like more than you have to. Use free camera. This one's important because, you know, what happens is your camera won't reset. You know, when you left click and move your camera around, it's not going to instantly lock back like this. I'll show you. So for me, I, I just find it a lot, a lot more like... It's just not as annoying. You don't have to fiddle with the camera. It stays where you put it. You know, if you want, if you want to recenter, just right click. There you go. You're recentered. So turn it, recenter. I can just right click and turn around. Like, that's it. So free camera is really good. I'll show you what it's like without it. Uh, it's going to reset the camera. So I'm left clicked right now. I'm going to let go. It recenters. It's really annoying. All right. I'm editing this in because uh, for some reason I forgot it in the original recording. But uh, some, there's a few important things here. What I recommend out of this is definitely run show skill recharge. Uh, it's actually going to show you the exact counter to when your skills are coming off cooldown. And, you know, you don't have to just like look at this black line, not knowing when that skill is going to be available rather. So, yeah, definitely run that. I always run show target health percent. Um, so, for example, like if I just click on this, you can see the exact percentage. I don't know. It's, it's just good to know. The more information, the better, right? For my camera settings, I run full field view. Sorry, full field of view, max range. Um, you know, this is like the, the difference right here. So, you can see a lot of stuff as as opposed to like, you know, I think like the defaults like this or some shit. Run at max, trust me. So, let's move on to the next one, which is camera shake. Please, for the love of God, turn off camera shake. I will show you what camera shake is like, and a lot of people don't even realize they run it. Um, but once you stop running it and you watch other people's footage, you realize they've got it and you cringe. So, it's when your camera constantly shakes like that. And if you're in World vs. World or, you know, PvP and you're running this, it's little aids to look at. So it's not going to make a huge difference on performance, but it's so much smoother to look at. See, so look at that. All right. So after that, we're moving on to the combat and movement settings. So double tap to evade is the first one. Please, please turn this off. Um, you know, run a key bind to, to dodge. Don't double tap your W key. Look, see, that's what it's like when you don't have it. This is what it's like when you've got it and it's just stupid. You're going to accidentally dodge a lot of the times when you're trying to move and, you know, you're going to run out of initiative. Oh, not initiative rather, but um, 
uh, endurance. You don't want that. So please do not run double tap to evade. That's why sometimes you see like newbie players, they're just moving like this. It's because they're trying to double tap to evade, but they don't have endurance. Do not run that. Another important combat and movement setting to turn off is auto targeting. Please don't run this. Um, the game's gonna start automatically selecting targets for you when you don't have anyone targeted. When you're just trying to cleave, it's, it's just gonna get annoying. It, like you might hit targets you don't want to. It, sometimes um, if you use skills, for example, like Greatsword 5 on Warrior, you know, it'll, it'll make you like hit a target when you're just trying to, you know, use it for movement rather than actual damage. Like just, just don't run that. The next setting I'm covering here is a melee attack assist you want to turn this off as well so the reason i say that is because what this is going to do is when you've got someone targeted it's not going to allow you to run through them see I'm, I'm pressing my w key right now i can't move through them you don't want that especially in pvp when you're trying to you know fight on a node and whatnot like it's just going to get really annoying and your movement's going to be off so please please turn off melee target uh sorry melee attack assist so look i can move through i can move freely uh, yeah, you don't want to be getting caught on a freaking enemy. Another important setting here for me is to lock ground at target maximum skill range. So you want to lock it. What this does is uh, it locks your AoE skills at their max range. So I'm not sure if anybody still runs it, but if you run, if you don't run it rather, you know, you're going to be, your cursor is going to be going everywhere. You're not going to know when you're in range to do something necessarily. Whereas if you turn it on, you know, I know, okay, I'm in range now. I can use it. Like, I don't have to like, I guess, sort of like guess. It's pretty much guaranteed that when you use that skill, you are going to be in range with someone. Snap ground target to current target is good for PVE, like raids and whatnot, raid bosses. For PVP, definitely don't run it. I mean, I see some people run it in World vs. World. I don't agree. Definitely don't run it in anything competitive. Just run it in PVE if you you know, run something that uses a lot of AOE. I mean, why not? Allow skill retargeting. This is a winner. You have to run this. If you don't run this skill, you're missing out big time. It's not, there's no easy way to show you this on Thief. Actually, there is. Give me one moment. So what skill retargeting does is when you're in the middle of casting an ability, a skill or an ability uh, and you swap targets, the skill's not gonna get canceled. It's actually gonna follow your target. Um, so for example, I swapped to pistol pistol for this because you know, I can just spam unload So for example, I'm gonna just spam unload and look how I swap between the two targets See how I'm swapping and it's following my every you know every target if you for example run uh, Sorry, don't run skill retargeting It's just gonna cancel as soon as you swap targets and you know, it's a waste of a skill if you're on, uh, for example, a hollow smith and use the elite skill, prime light beam, if someone sees that, sees you casting that on them, they're gonna invuln or they're gonna dodge, but you can swap target and you know actually make use of the skill. Allow skill retargeting is a must. You have to run that, trust me. These are the graphics settings I run. So, um, you know, there's nothing, nothing special, nothing, no secrets here. It's just like, I don't know why. I run most stuff on medium. Sound options, nothing important. All right, and next up, we're going to look into my keybinds. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I've switched to my headset now because uh, there's not enough space on my desk. And as you can see, I'm uh, going to be showing you my keyboard. So pretty much, uh, let's get right into it. This is pretty standard if you're looking at it. I'm running very standard, uh, you know, WASD to move around. Uh, my one, two, three, four, five, all these skills are still the same. So, you know, I don't know, it just makes sense to me. I've got hands big enough to reach all these keys, so, uh, you know, it's cool. Now, the biggest thing to take from the movement is my about face. This is a very, very, very underrated tool. So what does about face do? It does this, it turns your character, 180s your character. Why is this important? Um, first of all, you know, less, less mouse movement, you don't have to do this, it's a bit quicker, it's instant. And second of all, it can be used for skills like withdrawal, for example, that push you for, uh, backwards. And what you can do is use it to push you forwards. So if I just do a standard about face, this is how it looks. Okay, so, you know, that that's cool and all. But what you do as you get more experience with using it is you hold your left click and you about face and that's what happens. Your character turns, but your camera does not. As you can tell, that's, you know, a little bit more convenient. Um, it can take a bit getting used to. So once again, left click about face and then you use a skill, for example, like that. 
Now why do I have my about face on my X key? Because it's, if you can tell, right next to my heel key, withdraw. So, you know, when I do it, it's look, one click, two click. It's literally, I can, I can just fat finger it pretty much together. So I'll show you that once again, pay attention to the keyboard. So about face heel. And with my lag, obviously it looks a bit slower, but um, you know, in real life, it's pretty instant. Okay, on to the next part, which is the skills. So once again, as I mentioned, one, two, three, four, five, all the same. My heel skill is on C for the whole about face uh, ordeal we're talking about. Now, skill seven, eight, nine, let's call it, and zero. Um, this is where a lot of people, you know, go their own ways. It really does depend on your hand size. I personally run uh, Q for seven, E, and then R. So Q, E, R, Q, E, R. They're all, you know, I can press them all with the one hand. Um, so if I'm gonna press my Q, I can hit it with this. If I wanna press my E and my R, I can press it with my index finger. Um, so it's all, you know, very easily accessible and I, I just find it really easy. Now this one, for example, my elite skill, uh, which is usually by default to zero, you know, no one's, you don't, you don't want to take your hand off your, off your mouse, right? You want to be able to press everything with one hand. So I put that on my mouse skill. So this one, I couldn't find a key that I was comfortable with. So I put this on my mouse skill, my mouse five. So I literally don't have to, you know, press, I don't have to move my hand whatsoever. It's just, yep, there. You can't see my mouse, but I've just clicked it. So that's for the mouse, uh, sorry, the elite skill. My profession skills, F1 through F5. I keep these once again. Um, it's it's probably like, the, the, I don't, I see people use like shift one, shift two, alt one. I, I don't like pressing more than one button for, for skills. So I keep these there. My hands are big enough, um, you know, I can reach them all. It's, it's a little bit awkward, but it works. Like I don't use that many classes that use these skills. So it's not a big deal for me. Um, and my profession for skill five. So when I was running Chrono, that's why I swapped this, but I run Z, uh, the Z skill. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, on, on most classes I play, uh, the F, F skills don't really matter because there's not much special um, abilities. So yeah, that is my skills. Special action key, I don't really run it. When I do run it, I put it on the alt key um, just because obviously I don't PVE much. Targeting, this is all very standard. I haven't, I haven't even touched these. I, I still use T to take target, which means if someone targets an enemy, for example, I just press T and you know, I follow that target. It's really good for PVP and World vs. World, um, you know, GBGs, so on and so forth. User interface, like who really cares about any of this? Um, the camera, so what we want to focus on in the camera is look behind. I put that on my mouse three, which is just my, my, scroll, my scroll button. Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys. Okay, so this will help me show you guys uh, a little bit better. So this is the mouse three button right here, the scroll. What that does is, with unlike about face, it doesn't actually turn your camera, uh, your character around, but you can look behind you just with a with a single key. So you don't have to, you know, do this. You don't have to like do this or anything like that. It's just one key on the mouse, you know, because it's um got to do with you know the camera camera view. I, ju I just said you know like 15 times because it's got to do with the camera view um and looking around. I just keep everything on the mouse. It's a bit easier and. As for the elite skill I was mentioning, this is on mouse five right here, like that. So that's that. Okay, the final and in my opinion, one of the most underrated uh, keybinds that I run is the weapon stow and weapon sheath, whatever you want to call it, uh, stowing your weapons. So pretty much it is under miscellaneous, if I can find it left shift, stow slash draw weapons. Now what this is going to do is if you're not aware, Stowing and drawing your weapons is going to cancel skills. So, for example, if, um, let's see, what's a good one I can show you on Thief? You know what? I'm going to show you guys the next one on Revenant. It suits a lot better. Okay, so the stow key. Um, let's get back to it again. Left shift right here. That's what I've got it on. My shift key. Um, so, what this is good for is you're going to be able to cancel skills. So, for example, there's a lot on Revenant. Um, you know, your sword four, so I can cancel it. What that does is most good players will see, you know, a shackling wave coming, they're gonna dodge. Um, another really big one is your sword three, so just canceling it like that. 
So what I'm doing is, you know, I'm pressing the skill, I'm stowing my weapon and it cancels, but the animation looks like I'm about to do it. So that enemy player is going to pop an invuln, a cooldown, you know, it's just big brain plays. Like honestly, like it'll take a while to get used to this, but when you know how to eff like effectively stow your weapons, you're going to be fucking like killing shit. So like, there you go, you stow, they he uses a cooldown, I can then, you know, do whatever the fuck else. So he's dead. Okay. Speaking of that as well, a glint. This is one of the ones you see the most. So a big cooldown, uh, you know, something that can be very, very punishing like this. Stow. Look, it looks like it still happened, but is the skill on cooldown? It's not. So then once they've dodged, you can actually cast it and, you know, go ham. The biggest tip I have um, across all characters is to try and make sure you're syncing up all the stun breaks and the, the teleports with the same key. With Thief, it is a little bit different for me, but across all my characters, I will use the Q skill as a stun break. So, um, you know, that that that's across all my characters. With Thief, however, it's a little bit different because I use my Shadow Step on my R skill, and that's because across all my characters, you'll see the R skill is actually my teleport. What this will do is it'll make sure when you swap across your characters, your keybinds still feel uh, somewhat the same. You know, um, when you know you, you want to teleport away, you're going to have the same key. When you know you need to stun break, you're going to press the same button. It's all habit. You know, you're going to get that advantage because, you know, you're not going to have to think about, oh, what do I have at macro 2 this time? Like, keep it on the same keys. All right, everybody, that wraps it up. You now know all the good settings that top players run. You know my keybinds and why I run them. Make sure you share this video with anybody who needs it. Share it with your guildies, your teammates, your duo partners. Leave a big thumbs up if it helped you and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell as I'm gonna be uploading a lot more frequently. Let's get this to 300 likes. Let me know what you wanna see next and stay tuned. See you guys next time.